In this next lesson using AutoCAD, we're going to do a quick review of the mirror command and we're going to also learn the trim uh, command. After that, we're going to start to explore oblique drawings opposed to isometric drawings. Okay, so let's actually start with the mirror command. And in doing so, we're going to actually draw kind of half a face. So what I'm going to do here is draw an eyeball. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the arc tool to draw half a nose. And then I'm going to use the arc tool to create kind of a smiley face. That's quite the smiley character here. There we go. And I just might move that a little bit to the center. Actually, you know what? I'm going to delete this and only draw half of it so I can get it symmetrically placed in there so we can actually apply the move command a bit better. And let's do an ear. Okay, that should work. Now, what I plan to do next is go ahead and take the mirror commands. And it says select objects. So I'm going to select all the objects here. I'm going to right click to advance. And I'm going to specify my mirror point right about here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and attach this. And hit no. So that's just a quick review of the mirror object and I have my character. So what I plan to do is I plan to give this hair, uh, character rather a little bit of a hairdo. Lots of spikes. And that should probably do it there. Now, I'm sure you growing up, you probably had a bowl cut sometime in your life. So we're going to give this character a bit of a bowl cut. So I'm going to take my arc tool and I'm going to use this to serve as a bowl. Just like that. All right, so here's how the trim command works. So we're going to actually take out all the spikes and our character has a nice clean hairdo. So looking at the trim command, little icon of some scissors here. I'm going to click on that. Now it says select object to trim or shift select to extend. So I'm just going to click on this and this is my cut line right over here. Now being my cut line, oh sorry, they've changed AutoCAD this year. So no big deal. It's actually telling me that based on these lines, I can just draw and extend and cut that quick. Well that's kind of cool. Let's explore that again. This is an update in AutoCAD. So here's my bowl. Taking the trim command, all I have to do is just anchor here and draw across, and you can see it just knocks off all the hair. Awesome. I'm going to right click and enter, and there it is. So now what I plan to do is I'm going to hit the delete key, and my character, in fact, has a good haircut. Now there's a, actually another option I'm going to explore too, and this is actually the offset tool. Uh, I didn't mention at the beginning of the video because it just came to mind right now. So the offset tool allows me to take an object, and I can actually copy and paste it but that, copier, that copy is specified from a certain, certain distance. So I've just drawn a circle, and here's my offset command right over here. So I'm going to click on offset, and it tells me to specify the offset distance. Well, I'm going to put the, uh, just a one inch distance here. Next, what I plan to do is I plan to click on this, and you'll notice that it's offset it one inch away. So again, I can click on this object here, and I can move over here and it offsets a certain distance. Let's try that again so you can see that a little bit uh, more closely or zoomed in. So I'm gonna click on the offset button. It says specify the offset distance, which I have uh, as one, which I entered the last time. If you haven't already done so, actually, you know what, let's try two this time. And now I'm gonna select the object, and you notice that if I move inwards, it is exactly two inches apart from that which is awesome. So the offset's going to be a really good command to sort of help you out with our next part. And then the next part is going to be creating a uh, oblique uh, object. Now, what is an oblique object? An oblique object is any object drawn at 45 degree angles. So similar to isometric, which is 30 degrees, it's showing a two-dimensional representation as a three-dimensional, and that kind of shows depth, uh, or the, at least the illusion of depth. So I'm going to go ahead and I've copied this oblique kitchen here. And what I plan to do is I'm going to paste it or control V. And here it is. So I'm going to attempt to recreate this kitchen all in 45 degrees. Now, if you recall from the last lesson, we use polar tracking at 30, 60, 90, etc. 
to make that happen. Now we're going to change the setting down here on the bottom right hand corner. And I want to set it for 45, 90, 135, 80, et cetera, et cetera. And we're going to be using some of the commands here like trim and offset to work on the floor or cut off some lines here. Okay, so I'm taking my line tool. I'm going to start working on this part of the outline. So here goes. Make sure that your line snaps at an increment of 45 degrees, just like that. And then I'm going to come up 45 degrees, just like that. So I've drawn this line and I've drawn this line. I'm going to now do this door over here. So I come up across like that. And I'm going to start coming across on the top of the door. Remember, it's got to snap at 45. And I know the fridge is a little higher than the door, so I'm just going to go up just ever so slightly. And again, I'm going to come across at 45 degrees here, and this is going to be the top of the fridge. Okay, and then I'm going to come down at 45 degrees. This is this line right here. And I'm going to start bringing it down so I'm actually on the countertop. And now I'm going to start drawing this little line right over here. The microwave I'm not too worried about right now. I'm going to still just do sort of the countertop here. Okay, and then we're going to come across like this. Now, if you recall from the last lesson, do not force your lines like this because then that's not truly a 45 degree angle. So again, you have to take your object snaps here and let's just draw that line and let's then take the line and grab the grips and extend it outwards. Same thing with this line here. All right, so that's a good start. I've got the overall outline, except for like the coffee maker, the microwave, and the window. So that's the basic outline. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to start to create um, the floors going across. And it's a nice checkered pattern. So, you know, let's go ahead and do that. So, taking my line tool, I'm going to... Oh, and you'll notice that it's snapping right to the corner, so it's been a little bit difficult. In the last lesson I talked about, sometimes you've got to use the object snaps and sometimes you've got to turn them off. This is a case where, you, in fact, you have to turn off your object snaps or otherwise my line's going to be here and I don't exactly want it to be here. So let's turn this off temporarily. Now taking the line tool here, I plan to take that line. And now I can sort of draw it across. Be careful, I will have to go back and make sure I fit this so there's no gap in there that doesn't affect my hatching. Okay, there's the first line. Hit enter. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, there's that gap, just like I predicted. And let's extend that in there. Oh, I'm a little off. Now, why? Because now i got to turn my object snaps back on. So I turn them on, and now I'm going to back this off. i just got to make sure it's at a 45-degree increment. There we go. And that should do that one. Now, I'm going to use the offset tool to actually create this grid pattern. So taking the offsets, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to specify the distance. I'm going to have to play with the distance around just a little bit. And so what I'm going to do here is leave it at 2, enter. Now let's go over here. Whoa, 2 inches way, way, way too close. Okay, I'm going to have to definitely increase that. So let's again go offset. I'm going to try putting in a value much higher. And your value is going to really depend on how far you're zoomed into, into your screen here. So let's try 15 as a distance. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, and I go like that, go like that, go like that to create my floor. And I can keep on going, so I kind of take it to the very bottom of the cupboards. And that should do it right there. Okay, now I'm going to turn, oh yeah, my object snaps already turned up, or turned on. And now what I plan to do is I plan to go ahead and start drawing this part of the cupboards here. So I'm going to come up like this. And I'm going to come across like that. Again, make sure it snaps at 45 degrees. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so I know that my lines extend in here. And so I know I actually have to trim that out. Before I do that, I'm just going to make sure I draw the top of the cupboard here so I can kind of see what I'm doing in terms of, you know, okay, where's my cupboard starting and stopping? So let's just do a little bit more here. Oh, I'm going to turn that back off. And I'm going to start drawing my line here. And let me turn this back on. So this is a constant where you're always using your object snaps on and off. Okay, and I'm going to draw at 45. 
All right. Uh, yeah, that's coming along. But now I have to do a lot of trimming here. Let's fix this line first here. There we go. Now I get to do some trimming. Take the trim tool and let's start cutting out some of the things inside here. Same thing over here. There we go. I got the start of the edge of my cupboard. Now I know my proportions and my scale are wrong, but you can work on that because this is just for demonstration purposes. So your task is to use the uh, trim command and the offset command to create a kitchen. Play with your object snaps by turning them on or off to create the desired effect that you need to while maintaining closed portions on the various components of your kitchen. When you finish that, go ahead and hatch the kitchen, but I don't recommend that you use white because um, if you use white, uh, some of your lines right here don't show up. So instead use a different color than white for hatching your kitchen. So good luck with that lesson and give it a go.